Back in with Netta now on the forecast. Okay, well, there's the sunrise. It's slowly starting to arrive, making for some really pretty colors from our Mount Vaca camera. And right now uh, is the time to get outside and try to do all your outdoor activities. You're running your outdoor workouts um, at this hour before things start to really get steamy out there. 68 degrees, though, already for San Francisco, 65 in Oakland at this hour, and 57 in Concord. So this is certainly warmer kind of morning than we're used to, and it is going to be a lot hotter of a day. We do have this high pressure that is just hovering right over California, causing record-breaking conditions for us and for Southern California as well. Triple digits down for L.A. For us, we'll be in the 80s and 90s. Temperatures even hotter than what we experienced yesterday. So here's a look at some of the highs across our area today so you're prepared. 91 degrees for you in Palo Alto. 90 Redwood City, Santa Clara will be 90 degrees today. So 20 degrees above from where we're supposed to be this time of year. This late in October, we're used to that offshore wind, but this is extreme. This is dry and hot out there. 91 Nevada, 87 degrees expected to be the high for San Francisco today. Petaluma 92, Santa Rosa 94, and to the north temperatures in the mid 90s. So it's going to be very to toasty, almost dangerous conditions, especially if you don't have air conditioning. Possible records to be broken today include Santa Rosa may tie a record. Hayward 94 will be a record breaker. And look at Monterey, expected to reach 90 degrees. Even along the coastline, it's going to be hot. It's all because, again, this offshore wind, the wind's coming from the east, but that is going to shift. So by tomorrow, we are going to start to get an onshore breeze, but it's very slight. So our temperatures are only going to drop just a little bit. You can see it here with their highs for San Francisco for tomorrow. We'll be dropping off from 87, 85 today down to the low 80s, and then the upper 70s by Thursday, Friday into Saturday. But your seven-day forecast really showing all across the board for the next seven days. We are going to be well above average for where we should be this time of year. Michelle.